we produce something called a xenobot. At the simplest level, a xenobot is what happens when you take some skin off of an early frog embryo and you ask them, well, what do you want to do now that you're not being controlled by these other, by these other cells? And what they do is self-assemble into this round little thing, which we call a xenobot, that starts to move around on its own. It rows against the water and against the bottom of the petri dish that they're sitting on, but it also does things like spontaneously turn around. Another example, one of the amazing things that they can do is they do something called kinematic self-replication. If you provide them with loose material, so basically loose skin cells in their vicinity, what they do is they run around and they collect those materials into little piles and they sort of shape the little piles and make a little snowball out of them. That little ball matures into the next generation of Xenobot. And guess what it starts to do? It does exactly the same thing. It runs around collecting more cells and makes the next generation of Xenobot. None of this was obvious at all from what we know about frogs and tadpoles and their genome. And so we're just scratching the surface now of what they're capable of.